Good evening gamers and welcome to Amorot, or however to pronounce it. This is a Commodore 64 game which is among the first games that I ever bought for my first Commodore 64. I'm doing a little series and going through the games that I grew up with and this is one of them. Um, what Amorot is, is a city that has been overran by giant bees. And your job is to go through district by district and clear out the bees and then nuke the, the queen bee in each, uh, each city district. So that's the point of the game. You're driving something which looks like a brown butthole with four paddles. This thing. Apparently it's a spider tank or something. Um, now this version on the, these are the different city districts that you can choose to start in. And from what I understand, all other platforms at the time that this game was available, on like the Amstrad and Spectrum and stuff, they had this game as an isometric 3D drawn uh, pixel graphic game. Uh, where you see it kind of 45 degree angle down, whereas for some reason the Commodore 64 version is top down. And I think this is actually kind of the worst version of the game, or so I hear. But, uh, it's the only one I care to play right now, because this is the one I grew up with. So what we're doing right now is we are looking for bees, which you can see at the bottom. And you can also switch it somehow. Yes, there. This is the queen. It changed to like a crown at the bottom. Uh, but first you go out to find some bees, and these are houses, I think. And you can shoot things, you can, well, throw some blobs out of your thing anyway. This is a road, apparently. I don't know who chose that this should be like a 4 by whatever, 8 or 9 grid. Because the 4 height really doesn't, like you really don't see anything until you're right on it. And this might not look like much by today's standards, but uh, when I was eight years old, and uh, this was actually downright scary at times, mostly because of the creepy music. Oh, there's a bee. Um, because when you're eight and the scariest thing you've seen up to that point is like Miss Piggy and the Muppet Show. Um, and you're going around in the middle of the night in your room where you're supposed to be sleeping, but you stayed up late playing your Commodore 64 instead. Um, looking for bees to this music. It actually, it was one of the creepier games of the times. There wasn't really any games that I would call true horror games on the com- Well, there might have been a few, but not by today's standards, but... Did you not damage me? But this was one of the few that had a little bit of a scary atmosphere. Um... Oh, Jesus. Did you not damage me? Or do they not damage me? Yes, they do! Oh, 15% da- Oh, okay, so they don't exactly do a lot of damage, but they do some. Well, let's keep driving. There's a little sucker. I don't even- oh, now we're going that way. I wouldn't say that the replayability uh, is too high of this game by today's standards. But the music, I think, does stand up pretty well. I think it's actually pretty decent chip music. Um, like, they really get some variation in their background tracks, both the title, uh, title theme tracks and the in-game music here. I just, I, I don't know, I really, I really like the music of this game. Possibly for nostalgic reasons as well, but... Oh. How many bees are we, are we killing here, exactly? Oh, apparently there's more. But I thought you could... I don't even know... Ah, oh, shit! Well, that damaged me. That's the thing, you can't see them coming. Um... 
All right, let's keep going then, I guess. These maps can get pretty big too, and that's the end of the road. Um, so it can take you a while to find all the bees, and then of course you don't have any save function, so... Back in these days, it was like play it through from the from the beginning. Uh, that was the good old days when you had to leave your computer or 8-bit Nintendo on if you wanted to like make it a if you wanted to sleep or eat in between, so you didn't ruin your gameplay. I remember when the what? But that's the end of the map, I think, but they're still telling me there's bees down. But I remember when those gold Nintendo 8-bit ca uh, cassettes came with a save state, like the Zelda 1 and stuff. That was such a novel thing that you could actually play and save. Like, it. what the shit? Where am I supposed to go for this bee? Uh... I don't think I can go more down. Can we go through this? How many bombs do I have? Oh, there we go. 27 bombs. Okay. Well, Jesus. This is, um... Is it still fence? Yep, still fence. Can I get around the fence? I seem to remember the fence graphic was like... The end of the map. Or, well, the edges around the map, I think, was that graphic. I have not played this game in... I don't know, probably the same as for the Montezuma's Revenge one I did a while ago. Like, probably 15 to 20 years easily. I don't even know if I ever really played this on emulators ever, or if I didn't play it until maybe, or since I was a really young kid. Can't even say whether I ever completely finished this game. Well, looky here then, this is the edge of the map. And it's saying there's bees still to be found that way. What? I don't think there's a... Uh... I don't think there's any way to get over there, is there? I mean, clearly there's houses and stuff over there, but... Those look almost like boobies. Oh, shit. Okay, well this is getting a little bit old. If I'm not finding a fence hole in the fence, I might, um, I might cut this a little bit short because, uh, like I said, the pl they're completely trolling me. I can't get over there. Let's see if we can find the queen. That's that way. Now watch that be on the other side of the fence. I actually do remember there were some glitches in this game, like some level design errors or something. There was some... These levels are all slightly different colors, and I seem to remember there was one that was pretty purple. Like, it was a very purple background with, like, white houses and... That one, like, more purple than this one. And that one, if I recall, was full of graphics bugs in the sprites. So they released this with even quite a bit of bugs to it. Now, um, and I'm thinking the fact that the bees are outside of the map on this one is kind of one, probably. So I don't know if it's possible to find those maps and actually, or to fit, find all the bees and finish those maps. There we go. That is the queen bee uh, of this particular district. You would expect her to be animated or something like the other bees, but nope, that's just it. I mean, it kind of looks like a statue or a mosaic of the queen, but that's the actual queen. And I think what we're supposed to do now is radio in a... Yeah, we go to the radio menu and we request... Oh, we can repair. No! Oh. Let's get back in there. We want more bombs. We want a super bomb. 
Um, which is supposed to kill the queen, I think. I don't know if that shot the soup. Yeah, it did. But I'm not finishing the map. Because I haven't killed all the bees. And the bees are outside of the map. So I don't think I can finish this level. Or... Let's just go to the edge of the screen and see what... Or of the map and see what happens. But I get the feeling... That this is not gonna be... I don't even know what you did back then. Like, I have to imagine it's possible to finish the game. Because otherwise there would have been... Like, people would have... There probably would have been a bigger fuss around this game than I think there ever was, so... I mean, it's gotta be finishable. I just don't know... I don't think I could ever finish these maps when the bees were outside. Yeah, this is the edge of the map and the bees are still outside, it says. Well, that looks like a great place to end this video. Can I actually get out to the... Can I leave the level? Uh, what's rescue? Uh, I don't know what that did. Did it bring me back to the center of the map? Well, anyway, like I said, I'm gonna round off the video here because I'm, this is not a playthrough and I don't think I could stomach a playthrough of these, a lot of these games. But uh, they're very cool to go back to and take a look at for nostalgic reasons. And um, yeah, I don't know if this video will be what I might call enjoyable, but thank you for watching it anyway and I hope to see you in another one. Bye-bye!